The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The reading is taken from the book of St. Mark, chapter 1, verses 40 to 45. A man with leprosy came to him and begged him on his knees. If you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus was indignant. He reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. Immediately the leprosy left him and he was cleansed. Jesus sent him away at once with a strong warning. See that you don't tell this to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest and Offer the sacrifices that Moses commanded for your cleansing as a testimony to them. Instead, he went out and began to talk freely, spreading the news. As a result, Jesus could no longer enter a town openly, but stayed outside in lonely places. Yet the people still come to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Gospel we read is uh, a healing Gospel. It is one of the main ministry of the Lord. This twofold ministry is Healing and evangelization, word of God. Hallelujah. It's a, it's a formidable combination. Geared towards making us whole. You know, and uh, I give the healing of a family tree seminar. Uh, we take up the definition of healing according to the dictionary. Why the dictionary? Because I wanted to know what the, um, the lay people know or, or define what healing is. You know, one of the things that uh, I take note in those definitions is that one, it makes to make whole. I think that's the best definition of it. To make whole. Hallelujah. What else? To suit. To comfort. Hallelujah. To restore. Praise be to God. You know, and all of these things, if you notice, is the work of God. Kaya nga, if you notice in the Bible that I use, and I'm using an NIV Bible, when the leper told him, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. It mentioned here that the Lord was indignant. Ano, ano, ano ba indignant sa Tagalog? Well, uh, parang uh, nagulat, uh, na may kasamang uh, inis. <laughs> Di ba? Indignant. Eh. <laughs> Bakit siya may, parang may kasamang inis? Eh kasi, obvious ba? You know, I came to serve. I came to heal the sick. That's my mission. And then you're going to ask me if I want to do it. No? <laughs> Hallelujah. I think this is a warning to that leper, but it is a warning to all of us that, hey, you cannot doubt God. His mission, His plan, His, His coming down from heaven to become a man is to heal us. Hallelujah. And so uh, going back into that healing, uh, I am reminded always of, all, of course, of the healing seminar, healing, healing uh, sessions that we have at Love Block. And during the, our healing sessions, we talk about uh, three types of healing. Believing, 
trusting and what expectant faith hallelujah you know level po yun the lowest level about faith I'm sorry I'm talking about faith because faith is what will allow God to heal you. Faith is a is a uh, is to allow God, you know, to perform His plans and and miracles in our life. That's why only thing po. Sorry, kanina I I'm talking about three kinds of faith: you know, believing, you know, uh, uh, Hallelujah. Trusting and then expectant. Yung uh, lumapit na leper, I think nandun siya sa believing faith. No. Bakit po? Eh kasi parang duda siya. <laughs> Naniniwala lang siya kay Kristo pero gusto ba ni Kristo? Ayan, no? Gusto ba niyang gusto, gusto ba niya tayong pagalingin? You know? Eh lalo na kung nandun tayo sa level na naniniwala wala ako pa rin talaga na nagpaparusa ang Diyos. Mahirap po to make up yung faith. Mahirap. No? Maybe God can heal us in some areas of life. Pero yung, yung according to the definition of healing that to make us whole, kung ang level ng faith mo ay nandun lang sa believing, ulitin ko, limitado ang mga milagro magagawa ng Diyos sa healing miracles na magagawa ng Diyos sa isang tao na ang level of faith naniniwala lang na sa Diyos. No? Believing faith. Parang ang sinasabi ko po palagi niyan, pag nandun ka sa believing faith, naniniwala ka lang na may Diyos pero pag tinignan yung uri ng pamumuhay mo, uri ng pamumuhay mo, parang wala namang Diyos. Eh. Hallelujah. Di ba, maaaring nag-2,000 Hail Marys ka, nagdadasal ka, nagsisimba araw-araw, pero nandun ka pa rin sa level of the be- believing faith. Like that of the leper in the gospel that we read. Nandun lang sa level na yan, kaya Jesus was indignant. Para bang, uh, sa, uh, sa, para bang sinasabi ni Lord, uh, naniniwala ka sa akin, alam mong anak ako ng Diyos, alam mong makakapagmilagro ko, pero nagdududa ka, kaya ko ba? gagawin ko ba? Meron bang requirement? Meron bang conditions? Hallelujah. You know, if you are in that level of all that doubts, thinking about what are the requirements, what are the conditions to have healing, eh medyo nandun ka nga sa level of the believing faith. Eh sabi po ni St. James, even Satan believes in Jesus and he shudders. Hallelujah. Nanginginig pa. Sino? Si Satanas. Naniniwala siya kay Kristo at nanginginig pa. Hallelujah. Marami akong kilalang tao naniniwala kay Kristo pero hindi naman nanginginig pag nagkakasala. Eh. Hallelujah. Hindi naman nanginginig. Eh. Praise be to God. Ano? Pinaglalandakan pa nga ang kanilang mga kasalanan kung minsan eh. Ano? Okay, bal- balikan natin yung le- leper. He was on that level of believing faith kasi sabi niya, if you will, you can cleanse me. Hallelujah. No, yung tanong na may duda yun, tanong na hindi sigurado eh. Kaya Jesus was indignant because of the level of his faith. Praise be to God. Fast forward lang natin ng konti, pero don't forget this, kahit na ganun ang level ng faith niya, sinagot siya ni Kristo. Sabi ni Kristo, of course I want to heal. Of course I can heal you. Hindi lang niya masabi, of course, that's what I came here for. You did not see me, you did not uh, encounter me today by chance. You encountered me today because this is an appointed time between you and me. Ah, hindi lang niya yung masabi doon sa leper. Eh. Appointed time yun. Hindi naman sila na, na, uh, nagkataon lang eh. In the same manner now, if you're listening to the Lord, if you believe that the Lord wants to talk to you, then this is your appointed time. You know, hallelujah. Just open your ears and then open your heart and He will be talking to you, telling you about what's going on in your life. Selling you a message 
responding to your situation right now, whatever situation you are in now. Hallelujah. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, no? believing faith, you know, medyo tingnan natin, nandun ba tayo sa level na yun? No? Hallelujah. Ulitin ko, ano yung mga palatandaan na nandun ka sa level na yun? Mababang, mababang, mababang level ng faith. Pag naniniwala kang na nagpaparusa siya. Kasi common sense will, even our common sense will dictate How can you call God a savior and at the same time a punisher? You cannot put those two things in your mind, hindi lalo na in your heart. You cannot. You cannot squeeze them together, the savior and the punisher. Hallelujah. And so are you bad? No, you're not bad, but you're on that level of faith, believing faith. Naniniwala lang, may Diyos, but cannot respond. Cannot, hallelujah, respond to the presence of God. God, Jesus, is not experiential. Hallelujah. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, sabi niya, of course I want to clean you. Um, sabi nga natin kanina, kung nandun ka sa level ng believing faith, hindi, hindi wholeness. Di ba sabi natin, yung binasa natin sa Webster Dictionary, heal is to make whole. No, That will not have to happen. Maybe, Maybe kung ang uh, level mo believing faith, eh baka, baka, baka physical, he- miracle, physical healing lang ang lakad mo. Pero huwag mong kakalimutan, mag- nagkaroon ka ng physical healing, mamamatay ka rin. <laughs> Sana kung hindi ka na mamamatay, di ba? Mantalan yung uh, uh, iangat mo yung pananampalataya mo hanggang dun sa trusting and then expectant faith. Hallelujah. <clears throat> That expectant faith, faith will bring you into fullness in life. Bakit? That expectant faith will bring you to heaven. That expectant faith will make you experience fullness and will make you experience heaven. Sabi nga nung kanta, lupa man ay langit din pag nandong ka sa expectant faith. Bakit? Ano ba ibig sabihin na expectant faith? <laughs> Hindi po yan expectorant. Ha? <laughs> Expectant faith is that you believe that you will change. That God can make you holy. I cannot think of anything else that will define expectant faith. What are you expecting? Are you expecting to be healed of COVID? Are you expecting to be healed of cancer? Well, okay, that is good. Uh, faith, but that is on the level of the believing faith because that's not what Jesus came here for. He did not die on the cross so that you will be healed of cancer or the blind will see, uh, the blind will see, the lame will walk. Hallelujah. That's not the reason he came down here for and died for you. He died for you for fullness and life, make you whole and bring you to heaven. Wow. And with the while on earth, All these things will be starting, will be experiential. Meaning what? Meaning what? Holiness. Because only holiness can make us full. Nothing else. That is what the gospel is all about. The gospel is holiness. If you're not interested in putting the gospel into your life, sinampal sa kaliwa, bigay pa kanan, am I interested in that? No, I'm not. But I'm asking God to put that into my life. I'm asking, kneeling down, and expectant that He can do it. What? Can he do? Put the gospel in my life and allow me to experience holiness while on earth. After all, why did God call you? Why do we have an appointment with God? We have. Why are we called anointed? Why are we called chosen? 
Hallelujah. Because you are chosen. I am chosen because we have the potential for holiness. Hallelujah. That's why he told the leper, don't tell anyone. Huwag may pagtalat yan. Baka hanapin nila yung miracle worker. Baka hindi nila hanapin yung Savior. Which means what? Set us free from sin. Cleanse us from our sin. When you are cleansed, like that leper whom Jesus cleansed, remember this, when we are cleansed, then we are clean, then we are pure, then we are holy. No, at this point in time of my life, 35 years now in the renewal, I do not consider myself still holy. But I am, that, I am on that way because God is pulling me. God is leading me. God is taking my hand and bringing me into that. No matter how hesitant I am, no matter how indignant he is, Hallelujah. He will keep on pulling you and me into that holiness. The imitation of Christ. That is the gospel and the Eucharist. Sarap nga natin katoliko eh. Bakit? Ah. You have the gospel? And you have the real body and blood of Christ. Real body and blood of Christ. And all of these are what? Are meant for wholeness. Holiness. Hallelujah. And so, uh, in our daily life, we always hear the word struggle. We struggle because there is something in you and in me that is inherently bad. Hallelujah. And you cannot just shrug it off. You cannot just even make a promise. No, I will no longer be bad. I will be good. <laughs> Come on. Excuse me. <laughs> Hallelujah. There is a power inside us. The human nature taking control of us. Hallelujah. Taking control of us since we were babies. Hallelujah. That human nature being nurtured. Bata ka pa. Yung human nature mo, pinalakas na eh, kumakargahan, kinakargahan na. Kailan? Kailan pinalakas pinatibay ang human nature mo. Bata ka pa, sinisigaw-sigawan ka na eh. So, eh di pinalalakas na yung human nature mo. Kaya ka matapang eh. Kaya ka, kaya ka may, may tapang eh. May bagsik, may sungit. Ba't ka may sungit? Ba't ka may asar? Ba't ka may inis? Hallelujah. Bata pa tayo, kinargahan na tayo. Paano tayo kinargahan? Paano tayo kinargahan? Sinigaw-sigawan tayo eh. Lakang malay-malay. Oh my God, damage na damage ka na kagad. Bakit? Strengthened na yung human nature mo. Habang lumalaki ka, oh lalo na. Iba, iba na natututunan mo, lalo na. Iba na. Meron ka ng classmates, meron ka ng mundo, meron ka ng eskwela. May mga eskwelahan nga, tinuturo. Hindi raw totoo ang Diyos eh. May mga eskwelahan nga. Hallelujah. Minsan nga, nakarinig ako ng preacher. Sabi ng preacher, pag hindi ka naniwala sa tikbalang, siguro hindi ka katoliko. Kasi ang katoliko dapat naniniwala sa tikbalang. Sipin mo yun. Hallelujah. Narinig ko. Gusto ko patukan eh. Gusto ko lapitan eh. Gusto ko sabihin. Ano? Hallelujah. Alam mo yung pinagsasasabi mo? <laughs> Ano, praise be to God. Ano, yung mga ibang sekta daw hindi naniniwala sa tekbalang kaya nabibiktima. Eh tayong Katoliko, sabi niya, naniniwala tayo sa tekbalang kaya hallelujah sabi ko, oh my God, look at this teaching. Look at this teaching. And all of us are victims of that. Kaya lumaki tayo sa pamahini. 
Lumaki tayo sa takot, takot sa multo, takot sa aswang, takot sa tegbalang. All of this breaks us. We are broken. And now God wants to make us whole. When you respond to that, then you expect God, you expect Him to make you holy. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. So, uh, bago po tayo magtapos, may meron lang kung uh, I was being, I, I am now being prompted by the Holy Spirit to uh, remind us of what? Of our responsibility to share what we have to those who proclaim the good news. If you believe that this uh, program, this uh, is proclaim, proclamation of the good news, and if you believe that this is an avenue where God can talk to you, then let us respond. After all, what is the gospel? The gospel is opening up, opening, opening up your heart to God. And when you put that gospel into your heart, what happens to you? What happens to me? Hallelujah. Something in you and something in me dies, will die so that Jesus will live. Included in that dying to oneself is our material world. You know, this is an invitation of blessing. When you know how to share your material um, properties, material finances, material wealth, if you want to call it wealth. If you know how to share that, especially to the word of God, hallelujah, you know, uh, your material being decreases. But, your spiritual being increases. Your material wealth will decrease, but your spiritual wealth will increase. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God bless you, Paul. We now pray. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts 
to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray, pray for us. San Roque, pray, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Pray for us.